Hello everyone, my name is Haley. Hope that you're doing well. Welcome to my Disney 100 room tour. Now I do want to preface that this is technically part one. You will see another Disney 100 room tour later this summer once I get some more Disney 100 items in. Disney 100 just kicked off so this is just the first little wave of stuff that I've been able to gather and collect. A lot of this display is also based off of of course Disney history and the archives so I'm very excited to show you what I put together. Also if you're interested I did do a whole room cleaning video where I showed some of the putting together of this display as well as some little collector tips display hacks, DIYs, all that stuff. If you'd like to check that out I've also done that with a bunch of other um, room tours for different themes if you'd like if you're interested if you're curious about my collection. Now I have been posting my DCP haul videos and some of the items made it into this display, others did not. So we're first going to start off over here by my door, which is actually where my first pin banner is. Now if you watched my DCP videos, you saw that I had two big pin banners. So those pins have yet to be added to my room currently. So some of the display is a little bit inaccurate as far as the the amount of, for example, pins that I have. So this is, some of the stuff is how it was, like whenever I left it and other things have been updated slightly. So just behind my door here, nothing has really changed. We just have a little jewelry, hair, station area, nothing too fancy. We're just gonna like breeze through this. But for those who haven't seen it, we just have the little jewelry, table, makeup, counter, mirror, all that good stuff all that fun time. Still have the two banners on the sides which also help a lot with this display. Of course the Disney history there with Walt Disney World and the importance of Epcot. Above that we have three of my largest Disney pins featuring some very very important icons as well as the monorail and of course we have some pictures of the castles all around. Now for my desk area. I know I get this question every single time. Where's my furniture from? Where's the display case from? It's from Ikea. I got it at Ikea many years ago. They probably still have things similar. I know for sure they still have the display case. Of course, over here to the side we have my little pencil stand. Now this is probably the most random of the things. We have one of the Disney 100 cereal boxes. Just some Mickey things, signs and Skyliners. Nothing... This is... I... This is kind of leftover stuff that didn't get placed. So it's just gonna hang here for now. It's not really taking up space and it's fine. <laughs> Over on my desk chair we have one of the Mickey ear hat cushions from one of the new Disney Parks collections. I love this and it really ties into the theme as well. Just a quick overview of my desk area. Of course we have my Mickey and Friends Funko Pops there front and center. To the left we have the train set of Funko Pops. To the right we have some park attractions. Down the center there we have some Vinylmations with the large Disney Park ones front and center. Moving down here in the middle, we have the Mystery Minis and other Funko Pops, as well as Skyliner Buckets and Fig Pins. And then move down here to the two sides of my desk where the themes resume. Now, usually I do rearrange these figures here to match the color schemes and the themes, although I did not have time um, during this spring break to do so, but the themes are still pretty consistent. And as soon as I return home, that's going to be the first thing that I rearrange to match the themes. So you'll see that in an upcoming video. So this top right side features some Disney 100 items. Now this one was kind of pieced together, which is the last few things that I had. These are the pops I just showed in my pop haul from the Target collections of Disney 100, the original iterations of Goofy and Donald. And then the back there we have a Walmart exclusive DVD. Um, that also features a pin for Disney 100 that has some classic Mickey cartoons on it. And then of course you'll see all throughout the color scheme for Disney 100 is purple and this like chrome silver. So we have a bunch of little confetti pieces all about for that. Off to the right hand side we have a Mickey Mouse plush from Shanghai Disney in his very like sparkly kind of grand opening outfit. And then to the left of that we have the cast member, whoa, we have the cast member exclusive Disney 100 ornament which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Moving down one more, we have some Walt Disney little archives, if you will, for Mickey Mouse. These are just some old toys, 
old iterations of him that I thought really kind of captured the start of the company and its characters. So we love this little mix of things. And some of these actually you all sent to me, so very excited to have those displayed here. Now going across the center, I really did not get to reorganize anything in here, but we are going to rearrange some of the magnets for the second round and make sure the purple ones are more front and center. I also got from D23 this special magnet for Disney 100, which of course will be featured in there as well. Now D23 is going to be sending um, all of its gold members this Mickey statue, which I'm super excited to feature in the like round two of Disney 100 display and I feel like it will match what I have going so far really, really well. Now off to this left side, of course, we have my name tags just sitting there all precious. I'm going to put them in something special, but until then, they're just, they're just hanging right here. We have some You Are Here mugs, You've Been Here mugs. Nothing was really changed in that section. Just above that, we have a little um, tribute to Tokyo Disney Resort. They're going to be celebrating their 40th anniversary in April, which is super exciting. So we have some items from the 35th, as well as Tokyo Disney Sea's 20th anniversary, some nods to Toontown, and of course just classic Mickey Mouse. And in the back there we actually have a piece from Tokyo Disneyland that actually came with one of my D23 boxes that kind of shows some old iterations of Mickey. And moving up once again up to this top right, we have one of the Hallmark Disney 100 ornaments, which says dream, wish, and believe. And on the back it has one of the Walt Disney quotes, which is super nice to tie in the color scheme. And to the left, I decided to put Daisy up here because she's wearing her purple that matches the color scheme. This is also from the grand opening of Shanghai Disney Resort. Now this shelf I really, really love. I'm surprised that it came together so well. I didn't realize how many items really fit this vibe. This is the Mickey Mouse in the Mouse Funko Pop, also known as Walt Disney's Plane. And over here to the left, we actually have a photograph of Walt Disney's Plane from D23, one of the gold member gifts. And just below that, we actually have this really cool luggage tag from the Lake Buena Vista Club from Walt Disney World, which I think is so cool looking. And of course we have a pin that says I'd rather be in Walt Disney World because this is the plane that Walt took back and forth to Walt Disney World. And of course that was his vision. So look at that, that tied together so, so beautifully. So I love just those little nods of Disney history, making sure we account for big events, you know, throughout the making of the company. Now moving over to one of my favorite sections and that just happens to be the display case. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to show you all of the themes. So up top, of course, we have Steamboat Willie way back when. I also included this monorail from Tokyo Disney, of course, for their 40th anniversary, but I just love it so much in the parks and Walt was very fascinated with vehicles, which we'll see here more throughout the display. Then I also have this Disco Ball Mickey Sipper because, of course, we're celebrating this little holographic um, color scheme for the 100th, which leads me into my very first display. We're gonna open up the case. For our first shelf up top, we have the Disney 100 shelf. Here it is with the lights off. I had these little twinkle lights all throughout. I feel like it really reflects the holographic colors nicely. Now this shelf includes the Disney 100 fig pins, goldfish, cereal boxes, Hallmark itty bitties, the Mickey ear hat, some boxes and packaging that feature Disney 100 logos on it, the Diamond Funko Shop exclusive Minnie Mouse, as well as these little metal pieces, which really tone to the color scheme very nicely. But these are different shapes of Disney Park icons that have little inspiring words on them. But whenever I purchased these, the customer told me that these like pieces of metal were actually melted down from old like Disney Park projects and stuff from the parks, which I thought was really interesting. So I don't know if that's fully true, but if it is, that is very, very cool. We also have some Disney 100 pins, including ones that are exclusive to Disney Visa members, as well as cast members. Now moving down to the next shelf, this one I think is super, super cute. This is honoring Walt Disney Studios, as well as the Mickey Mouse Club. So just showing Walt's dedication to the mouse, I thought was super fun. In the back here, this top big plushie is actually from the Walt Disney Family Museum in California. And just behind that, you can actually see the prints that were used to make this particular plush from the D23 Gold Member Gift. Off to the right of that, also from the same package, we have some original little copies of sketches from Steamboat Willie, 
which is so cool. It's just so cool to read all the little art from there. Just below that we have one of the Mickey Mouse film reels, which actually has the film still inside. You can't see any of the images, it kind of was faded, but very cool to own that piece. On the ground level you can see some Walt Disney production stickers, as well as photos of Walt actually voicing Mickey Mouse, his signature, buttons from the Mickey Mouse Club, and special cast member lanyards, as well as the Walt Disney cartoonist envelopes and Laughogram ink business cards. Of course we have a Walt Disney Studios mug and coaster set, as well as some sketches of Mickey and Oswald with a handwritten note from Walt Disney that's a copy from the D23. Um, none of these are like official documents. Well, they are official documents, but D23 copied them and sent them out to their gold members. So they are copies of the official documents, if that makes sense. That's why they're not framed or anything if they were um, truly the real piece of paper. And then in the back we can see the special post gold club tin from Disney 100, this aluminum edition tin that comes with a special cereal box. And I feel like that like nice reflective metal tin really just shines with the color scheme of this particular display. And of course front and center we have Walt Disney himself holding the Mickey Mouse plush. I love that Funko Pop so much. Now moving down to our next shelf. This one I thought was pretty fun. Maybe a little bit of a subtle reference here, but this one is honoring Mary Blair and Walt Disney Imagineering, specifically with It's a Small World and Disneyland. I have all these Funko Pops from the It's a Small World collection that was released last year. Also in this case, you'll see some buttons from Walt Disney Imagineering, as well as some pins and postcards from It's a Small World featuring the Mary Blair art style, as well as some Disney World balloons, and of course the Sleeping Beauty Castle Funko Pop. Now down to this last shelf may seem a little bit random, but it nods to Walt Disney's love of travel and vehicles, as well as his um, inspiration for Florida, and of course where Mickey has impacted people all around the world, and how people travel all around the world to visit the Disney parks, and just everyone's love of Mickey, and how it's all over all kinds of merchandise. So that just about wraps up the display case. I'm super happy with these shelves, and I feel like it, it honors some very important moments in the Disney history. Now moving on to the kind of middle of this wall, I guess we have my pin board, which I've said I haven't added any new pins to it recently, but it's still going strong. It's still one of my favorite pieces in my room. Then we have just this little step stool here with some Mickey and Friends plushes on it. Doc Ondar living his best life right there. Now moving away from the desk and display case area, we're going to visit this little corner over here, which I'm also super proud of. Before we stop over, we have my closet door, which features some different versions of Mickey Mouse. This is like Shanghai, Hong Kong Disneyland inspired, and then this is from Tokyo Disney. And then we have an original map of the Magic Kingdom, which is also a big part of the history. The different versions of Mickey Mouse across the parks. And now stepping over here, this display is honoring Walt Disney's love of trains. I feel like I could not have <laughs> done this display without his love of trains. So front and center over here, underneath Cinderella Castle, we have the Lego Railroad, the Disney Railroad as this one is called. Looks super, super nice. And as the Disney 100 minifigs come out, I'll be placing them here inside of the train car, which I feel like will be a nice little touch. Over here to the left, of course, we have the Partners statue, and we have some other Disney history papers down here. We have a Walt Disney World parking ticket for just a dollar. Just a dollar sitting right there. Of course, honorary citizen of Disneyland. And then moving over to the right side, we have some more specialty papers. Here's a parking ticket from Disneyland or parking pass. 50 cents. Not too bad right there. We also have visitor's pass. This page is from the D23 gift. And then we have a Disneyland guide over here as well. More of those little confettis, keeping the color scheme. We have a gold transportation ticket for the train station at Walt Disney World. Some old, like Walt Disney World, like receipts and fast passes and stuff. That same luggage tag again. We also have some little snow globes. There's another Walt Disney signature. And of course we have a little nod to Runaway Railway there. The attraction honoring Mickey Mouse and of course trains. Have a Disneyland Railroad plate, some keys. 
And then off to the side, we have some more papers from the D23 gift, featuring some original sketches of Oswald and his transportation vehicles. And then, of course, to the left there, we have a nice picture of Walt with all of his sketches behind him, looking so very nice. This next shelf up features one of the other Lego train cars, as well as Walt Disney Funko Pop in the train engine. And we have a sketch there of Mickey in the back too. I feel like this display really covers his legacy, his passions, his love of everything, trains, and you know, his dream that he, he hopped on and drew some characters and that changed it all. And then up top here we have the Disneyland train station as well as some Mickey Funko Pops and some iconic vehicles up there. So this display is pretty sparse, but it it says what it needs to. It covers some very important things and it has some really cool papers to go look at as well. It feels very like museum energy over there, nice and subtle. Up to the top here, just kind of glancing over a few other things. We have, of course, my pin H up there. We got the Disney tram on top, some Disney keys. I didn't switch out this case yet, but it features the first series completed of the Walt Disney World 50th Finalmations. Have some more keys stacked up there. <laughs> Have some run Disney medals all about, some more Disney keys up top. And now coming across to the final corner, of course, we have a bunch of Mickey Mouse plushes. There's Minnie and Oswald in there as well on the bed. And this back display, of course, we have the Skyliner picture, some very iconic Mickey and Friends Finalmations. And then we have my park map display case over there, still featuring some 50th ones, although I'm going to switch it up and put Disneyland down in the front a little bit later on this year. And then we have Mickey and Friends new emos, all dressed up. Some of them in there wearing some purple, some sparkles, all that good stuff. Look how excited they are. <laughs> all hanging about. Of course, we got Oswald over here. We got the D23 fan club banner. Lots of familiar faces. And then lastly, off to the side, we have all the princesses hanging out down there, as well as the Steamboat Willie Lego set. Well, I think that just about covers my Disney 100 display so far. I am very happy with how it turned out. It is pretty, like, it's just, like, subtle. Like, there's just single displays of the different themes, but I'm glad I was able to capture, of course, Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, the 100 itself, the Imagineers and the artists. So I feel like those are pretty kind of key moments to represent right now. But I look forward to expanding the collection and growing the 100 display as the year goes on. Let me know what your shelf was your favorite down below. And as always, remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. And I will see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>